Governor Schwarzenegger is preparing to sign a budget revision this week that holds some bad news for local governments. Cities and counties will temporarily lose some property tax revenues, and the state is also taking some $350 million in redevelopment money. John Shirey is with the California Redevelopment Association. Welcome to the studio today. Thank you. Your group is preparing to sue the state over the taking of this money. What's the basis of the lawsuit? Well, Kevin, let me just uh, note that it's not $350 million, it's $2.05 billion. That's billion with a B. Okay. So it's much larger than the $350 million that the state tried to take last year. The basis of our lawsuit is simple. It's unconstitutional. Uh, this money is local money that's supposed to stay local. It's provided for in the Constitution. The voters approved it in 1952, and that language in the Constitution says... This is money for redevelopment agencies to use for payment of debts and obligations of those agencies. In other words, to make communities better. And how would the loss of the money, in your view, affect job creation, job growth in communities? Well, it's not an exaggeration to say this is, this is a devastating cut. Uh, it's $1.7 billion this year, which really represents all the discretionary money that redevelopment agencies have available. That $1.7 billion, if it could be invested in communities, would produce about 164,000 jobs. The $350 million that's slated to be taken next year, that equates to another 34,000 jobs. It's almost as if, if the legislature had set out to write legislation to slow down the California economy, this is the bill that would have done it. The, the irony is it's an anti-economic stimulus bill. The city of Sacramento, as I understand it, could lose some $26 million. Give me an example of how redevelopment has worked in the city. I think Phoenix Park is one example. Phoenix Park is a great example, and the city of Sacramento spends a lot of its money for housing projects. In fact, uh, one of the projects that will be affected by this takeaway of funds is a, is a project called Mutual at Highlands. Uh, that's a project that will support homeless individuals. It, it'll have services with it. It will also have, in addition to 66 units, 33 of those will be for people who are mentally disabled. So there's a project ready to go. It's part of this area's plan to stem homelessness in this area. And it's not going to be able to go forward because this money was slated for that project. And what about Stockton? We know the, the waterfront in Stockton, a lot of that was redevelopment money. How has it worked down there? Stockton uh, uses its money in a variety of ways as well. And of course, you know, that's a community that's hurting already. Uh, this funding was for a variety of projects in Stockton, including housing projects, but also uh, some projects for uh, commercial development, things that would get their economy moving again as well. You mentioned that your association sued last December. You got a uh, positive conclusion this past spring. You're expecting much the same thing? Is, is it basically the same issue as far as you're concerned? It's the same issue. Uh, you know, city and county officials got fed up last year and said enough is enough. We're going to sue the state of California. We did. We filed here in Sacramento Superior Court and in April we won. Uh, the state thinks that by writing the statute a little bit different, it can win against another challenge that we would file this time. Well, you can't pass statutory language to change the Constitution. The Constitution says this money goes for redevelopment purposes, so we're going to file on the same basis, and we expect to win. There is every indication uh, that this budget revision does not solve the problem, that we're right back into another deficit situation in a few months. What's your expectation about that? If, if anybody studies this situation, they will see that over the last several years, every time the state passes a budget, it's not very much, many months afterwards till somebody says, gee, we have a deficit again. And that's because we don't really solve the problem. The state spends more than it takes in. And it has made decisions and actually made non-decisions over the years which have exacerbated the situation. So this set of amendments doesn't really solve our problem. And we'll continue to hear reports about more deficits for the state budget in not very much time. What's your prediction? By October, we're going to be back into another uh, $8, 9000000000 billion deficit? 
Well, I won't make a prediction, but it's, it's, it's multiple billions. And uh, I, I think it's already understood that this set of amendments that was made uh, on Friday that the governor is expected to sign, uh, it actually didn't close the gap. Already we know there's, there's some gap there in terms of what's projected to be the deficit by the end of this fiscal year and what these actions will actually address. All right, John Shirey from the Redevelopment Association, thanks for coming in. Thank you.